What's up guys? I hope everyone is getting their day started off awesome. And you guys rocking it out out there. You know, I love all you guys. And I'm here to bring value in the best way that I possibly can at this current point in time. And today I want to talk to you about trust. Because trust is something that's so big and it's so huge and it's so monumental. And people think that you either have it or you don't. And this is true to an extent. At Culture Matters, one of our company principles is trustworthiness. And that stands in for one of the T's and we put one of our T's and culture into context. Because when you break something down and you put it into context, you give it meaning. And that meaning fosters actions, and those actions foster results. So one of our T's in Culture Matters stands for trustworthiness. Trust in yourself so that you can trust in others. Pretty deep. A lot of us, we go around and the problem that we really have is that we don't trust ourselves. You go around life and you can't trust anyone and you think everyone's out to get you. And you're an entrepreneur, you're a hustler and you're scheming. You're scheming for the next dollar, who you can get that next dollar from. It doesn't matter to you if you can help them, if that product makes any sense for them. You're selling. And you have it programmed in your brain to seek out the next person to take advantage of. And when you're in sales, you know, we all have quotas. We all have, you know, things that we ha must meet. Numbers that we must provide for our employers. Well, that's all well and good. However, when the employer has no merit to trustworthiness, that's when their customers and their clients get the raw end of the deal. That's when the employees are so focused on hitting that number that they don't care about the client anymore. All they care about is not getting fired. So for us, trust in yourself so that you can trust in others builds upon the fact that, hey, not everyone's gonna be right for the product and that's okay. But you must trust in yourself that you are morally aligned. And your mission and your purpose is to help, not steal. And I think when we really think about trust and, and we think about all the ways that trust has to react in our, in our relationships daily, it's very difficult to trust others when we can't trust ourselves with dealing with others.